Hi, I'm going to show you how to use an Excel price list that has your cost listed and we need to change that cost to cost plus or retail to upload it into the editor. So I have this Excel file to use as an example. We have the part number here in A, we have the cost in B, we have the name and then the catalog title. What we want to do is raise this cost to my retail price. We'll just use $20 so it's easy to see the formula. And so let's just say for this example that I'm going to use 20%. Okay, yours might be 30%, might be 40%, whatever it is. But for this case, we're going to use 20%. So in this column over here, I'm going to create a formula. I'm going to do an equal sign. I'm going to highlight the cell in the same row, right, B2. I'm going to say times, that's the asterisk, 1.2. That will be 20%. And I'll hit Enter and you can see the result is 24, which is correct. So now I need to copy this formula all the way down to the end of the table, and I'll show you a little shortcut. Do you see this little square, I guess, in the lower right-hand corner of the cell? If you hover over it, you'll see a little plus sign. You can double-click that, and that will send that formula all the way down. Excel is smart enough that it will stop at the end of your table, which is really nice. Okay, so now I have this cost, and I have my cost plus over here. I need E, the results of my formula, to be in this cost column in order to upload it into the editor. So what I need to do is copy, either Control C or right click, hit copy. Then I'm going to highlight column B, and I'm going to right click, and I don't want that formula to be copied over there. I want the results of the formula. So I need to paste by going into Paste Options and choosing Values. Okay? So that just copied the values. And now I can simply delete this column that had the formula in it. So what I've done is raised the cost to the cost plus. Maybe I want to change this to price instead. And the last thing I want to do is save this, right? So I should save this as my original Excel file, but I also need to save it as a CSV in order to upload it into the editor. So save it wherever makes sense. You want to choose CSV, comma delimited, and then save it. 